Hello everyone, and welcome to another Computer Software Is Your Friend tutorial. Today, I will show you how to update your new Lion installation to 10.7.2. Now, you can, of course, try the software update method, um, which is standard, and uh, you can try that, it might work. But just to be on the safe side, I'm going to use the combo update, which I've downloaded from the Apple website. Um, and of course, yeah, you can get it on the Apple website right here. And uh, you just download and you'll be ready to go. Now this update was released on the 12th of October. And uh, you should be able to run it without any problems. So, without further ado we are going to run it so we're going to go to downloads and we're going to click on the combo update and um... We're just going to get out full screen mode here so that we can minimize this and so now it's going to open the finder right here and as you can see standard you have the uh... the combo update and so you just double click to run standard and it will open the installer and so, um, I'll take you through step by step. Um, this is the first time I'm installing this, so if I run into errors, you're going to run into errors. But, um, generally, I don't think there should be any errors. Uh, Lion was a smooth installation. Uh, just keep in mind that if you have any kecks that you really, that you needed to get Lion up and running, you may or may not need them during the update process always keep that in mind that's standard and um, essentially from this point we're just going to continue with the installation and we're going to hope that it is it assumes that it's it's on a regular Mac and it's just going to do the software update properly so um, now 7.2 10.7.2 includes iCloud and it also includes Safari 5.1.1 along with a whole bunch of different fixes. You can read those. Um, I'm not going to waste time. I'm just going to click continue. I'm going to accept the agreement and I'm going to install this update. Now bear in mind that you will need to restart the computer when this is done. Now I don't think that you will need to run multi-beast um, at the end of this before restarting but bear in mind it really depends on the system and it really depends on the update but um, for now I don't think that you will need to make any modifications and if you do we can always um, get to that later so it's validating the packages and it's going to go through its installation process I'm not going to bore you by making you watch the whole thing. Of course, it's an update. It'll take its sweet time, and then you sh if, all go if all went well, you'll see the install succeeded, and then you'll restart. So I'll come back when we're at that point. And so the update finished. As you can see, it was successful. If you got a, uh, a failed message, you would have had to create another partition, install Lion, and then from that Lion partition, it reinstall the 10.6.8 to this Lion partition. Just a generality when it comes to these kind of errors, that's usually the quick and easy fix. So, uh, installation was successful. I don't think we should run into any problems. So, we're just going to restart. And uh, this should not take too long. Mac is generally very fast at restarting unless you're installing Kecks on an Acer Aspire 1. And so, of course, you're going to have to go into your bootloader and then uh, select Lion if you installed Snow Leopard first because for some strange reason uh, I can't really get the bootloader to work to make default make the default partition the Lion partition but I'll figure that out one day um, so of course I don't have my Mac hard drive as the default I keep my Windows 8 hard drive as the default while I do like Mac OS X, this is more or less for fun. It is very usable. It's great for making videos and editing videos. But other than that, 
I'm, I actually prefer Windows. Uh, but that's just personal preference. And, uh, I mean, there was a time... If it weren't for the Windows 8 Developer Preview, I would be using Mac as my primary system because I, quite frankly, got sick and tired of Windows 7. Um, so now we're at Lion, so we're going to hit Enter, and it's going to boot in, and hopefully we won't have any problems. And we got the uh, Apple logo. Now, if you installed Sleep Enabler, um, my, I should have told you this earlier, but you'll get a kernel panic if you kept the sleep enabler. And a simple fix for that would be to delete the sleep enabler before installing the update. And if you do run into the predicament where you are at that stage, if you have another Mac partition, and maybe you can even do it in the installer. You can try booting off the installer, going into disk utility, and then... Um, essentially exploring maybe it will let you delete the file I don't know I've never had to do that um, I generally would install another partition of line and then <laughs> or snow leopard and then try and fix it from there um, generally once you have the installer of lion made it can be used any on any machine that lion will work on so uh, we're going to have to set up iCloud uh, as well. iCloud is, is included in this update. And uh, here's hoping that nothing broke in the installation. We do have a mouse. We do have a UI. We do have sound. And according to my modem, we have internet. So 10.7.2 didn't break anything. Now, of course... Um, here we go, here's iCloud. You essentially enter your Apple ID and password. I don't have one. I know, it's weird, why don't I? <laughs> I don't have one, but essentially uh, you'd have to do that, sign in, follow the steps, and essentially iCloud stores everything. Um, now, just as a simple proof that we have 10.7.2, here is the About This Mac, and as you can see, 10.7.2 Isn't that lovely? So, I'm up to date and uh, now you are too and if you're not on a problematic system it shouldn't break anything. I mean when I installed Mac OS X on this computer uh, Lion actually, not Snow Leopard. Snow Leopard was a little problematic but Lion went very smoothly. The only two things that didn't work were sound and internet which were the two first things I checked Graphics works. As you can see, we do have the transparent, um, well, translucent um, menu bar. And uh, if you want to test with iMovie, iMovie is the main purpose of having the graphics. Um, iMovie will work. Yep, iMovie opened. It didn't fuss. It didn't give any problems. So we're good to go. So this has been another computer software is your friend tutorial. Hopefully you're liking the updated Lion. Uh, I know that I am. Uh, I mean, uh, I think that now at 10.7.2 we might be able to avoid some of the compatibility issues that uh, came when um, Lion first came out. And I know that Lion scrapped, uh, Apple scrapped one of the, I think Rosetta, or something which was one of the huge components for compatibility even office didn't work at one point so um, yeah it should now work everything should work and this is a very stable fast system if you like it you keep it and yeah as you can see this is where I make all the videos that you're seeing right now this is my workshop <laughs> and uh, yeah so Please do rate, comment, and subscribe. And if ever you're having problems with Kex, I do have an article on that in the Mac series on computer software. Is your friend dot dot com, and the link, of course, is in the description along with everything else that you might need. And I mean, if you have issues, it's generally um, based on your system, and these can be fixed given that you have the right Kex. And I mean, uh, if you got Lion to work in the first place, I don't see why Lion wouldn't work after the update. So, uh, yeah, so, 
have a great time with your updated line, and while you are on the PC, you are now running Mac OS X. Please do rate, comment, and most importantly, subscribe. Have a nice day.